everyone and welcome back to my channel so this is going to be what i'm packing in my kids carry-on bags so if you want to see what i packed for three children including a one-year-old a three-year-old and an almost seven-year-old for a short haul flight then keep watching so by the time I upload this video we will actually be away on holiday and I am actually really lucky to be working with Alfresco holidays during this trip. We will be or I guess we are currently in France and as part of our stay I will be producing some content for them. So if you want to see what we're up to while we're away then the best place is probably to head over to my Instagram so I'll leave a link down below for that and I will obviously be producing content for Alfresco while we're away so you can look out for that when I am back as well. But anyway, now the disclaimer is out of the way, I thought I would show you what I have packed for our kids on this flight. We've never actually flown to France before as a family. It's a relatively short flight, around a couple of hours or so, and I hope, I hope, fingers crossed, it's not going to be too tricky, but we'll just have to wait and see. But anyway, I'm going to start with my bag, um, which also includes Stanley's things, really. Stanley is my youngest, and he has just turned one, and this is the Skip Hop Greenwich changing bag, which I have had since just before he was born and it's a really really good buy and I combine all of my stuff with his just because it's easier I'm carrying this bag around anyway so you'll see the shape of the bag it's a rucksack which I would personally recommend if you are traveling with children because then you are hands-free it's just a lot easier to carry in my opinion and um, yeah it fits everything in really nicely and you can use it while you're out and about as well on holiday so I'm gonna start with this front pocket and everything in this front pocket is stuff that I feel like I need to grab and go so you know when you're going through security that kind of thing like phone camera anything that you need to just get conveniently and then put away again that's what I put in here so the first thing in this pocket is my phone which obviously I won't be without and I have that with me at all times and then I also have a little plastic bag with any like important cards so bank cards um ID my European health card that kind of thing just in here because a it's like waterproof and they're kept out of the way and I don't have to take my big wallet with me then as well then I also have a packet of hearing aid batteries if you're new to my channel I have hearing aids obviously and um I've got mild to moderate hearing loss and I don't want to be without these so I popped a pack of these in there as well so I know exactly where they are and then finally in this little tiny pocket bit within the front pocket I have some euros and these are actually the kids euros my parents have given the children 20 euros each to spend while they're on holiday as like a little sort of treat from them it's quite traditional to do that in my family as I think I've mentioned in videos like this before my grandparents used to do it for us and my parents are doing the same for their grandchildren so I'm just keeping that there so I know where it is and it's nice and safe and then next thing I is just a plastic bag with like any small loose electronics in so I'm going to be taking a spare battery and a charger for my camera just in case and I'm also going to be putting my iPhone charger in here which will also work with the children's iPad just because if there is a delay for any reason and we need to charge things or like let family know where we are and like batteries running low then it's nice to have them to hand I find so I always keep these in my hand luggage and then I also have a clear plastic bag for liquid so at the moment we just have some concentrated squash because it's handy to have with me anyway and it just means that once we've got through security we can buy some bottled water fill the kids drinks bottles up and they can have some flavored squash instead you can get this from Aldi like Tesco do their own this is a Robinson's one because it was on offer in B&M but it's really really useful to have and what I'll also be adding in here are some cowpaw sachets and that will really be all of the liquids that we're taking because it is a short haul flight and I don't anticipate needing anything else really and I'm certainly not going to take any makeup with me because I just I never use it anyway so it'd be pointless next up in here are my sunglasses so I just have like a tortoiseshell pair which are like this and then I have a slightly funkier pair which are new actually and these are black and the lenses are actually hearts within like the shape of the lens I don't know if you can actually see um, I've just got a black pair and a tortoiseshell pair I keep these in here just because if I put them in my main luggage they are at risk of getting damaged so that's just something that I always do and then also in here for Stan I have two spare dummies and dummy clips and that will do us for the whole holiday but again it's just because I know where they are and then also in there which is a bit 
of a weird addition is this and it's an empty string bag and I just thought if I stick this in here for whatever reason if we like buy something or we've got other bits that need to go in a bag then at least I've got it to hand and it will do as well on holiday anyway because we can use it if we like go out shopping or like we're going out for the day that kind of thing and then the final thing in the front pocket here are just some headphones for my own phone so if I do ever get a minute's piece which I highly doubt at least I can listen to some music so that is everything in the front pocket then the next thing is in this side pocket here and if you're a parent you'll know why because I always feel like you just need to have wipes on hand and ready to grab like they're so useful when you're traveling with kids anyway like for like nappy changes for wiping sticky hands or snotty noses or if someone's been sick so I put those in there just because then I know where they are and I can grab and go now the rest of this bag is divided into two sections so there's a zip here at the back for all of the changing stuff like nappies and that kind of thing and then there is a main section as well so in this back pocket here all I have are uh, as many nappies as I could fit in. Now Daisy is in like, she's almost potty trained so to go on holiday is is a bit frustrating because obviously it's quite hectic anyway and like up and down to the toilet and making sure she's like dry it's gonna be a bit scary so I packed just in case we need pull-ups and if we don't use them like while we're on the journey then we'll use them while we're away and then I've also got the same for Stanley so these are actually Aldi Mamiya ones and these are actually the Tesco Fred and Flow ones I think something like that and then in the back here I have a changing mat and there's also loads and loads and loads of nappy bags as well and if we don't use them again on the flight they'll do us for the rest of the holiday so that's what's in that back compartment which just leaves the main compartment and I have fit so much stuff in here it's ridiculous the first thing that I am taking is just a cellular blanket because I think it's really useful if Stan does fall asleep and the plane can be quite cool sometimes with air conditioning that kind of thing then it's always useful to have it's useful to like lie him down on if he's playing or you know when we're on holiday that kind of thing so it's handy to have with me and I've packed one of them and this one rolls up quite small then I also have two bibs and one is just an Ikea bib here for Stan and there's actually one here for Daisy just in case because you know when you're eating or you're at an airport you've just started your journey you might go for breakfast or something like that and then lo and behold a child has ruined their outfit and it's just not the way you want to start your holiday especially when I have a three-year-old who hates mess so I thought I would take those and again we can rinse those off and wash them on holiday because I've got some travel wash with me and uh, use them over and over again which is handy for when we're out at night and things like that. Then the next thing in here are just a spare change of clothes thereabouts for the kids. For Bill I have a spare t-shirt, for Stan I have a little romper that he can get changed into when we're there because we're expecting quite good weather. And then for Daisy I also have a dress and also a spare pair of knickers because obviously potty training. So so that is just to keep everyone feeling fresh and clean and not like disgusting because journeys aren't very nice are they next up in here in no particular order let's go for these is a bag of snacks for Stan and there's loads of different things in here the kids have relatively the same so I will run through what is in here now so in here we've got things like a satsuma I have a brioche because it's my children's best friend I've got like fruit bites these are strawberry bites from tesco with yogurt coating i have some unicorn bites these are from b&m and they're filled with chocolate i have some aldi mini cheddars and i've also got a kinder egg which is a bit of a treat for him anyway and um this is probably quite a lot of snacks given that we're hoping to eat breakfast at the airport as well but i have found in the past on holiday when we run out of snacks and there's a delay or you're waiting ages for your luggage or just something's gone wrong, there is no stress like it. When your child starts to get bored and hungry and they're tired and they're hot and bothered, it's just a nightmare so I would always stock up on more snacks than you actually feel like you need then the next thing I have to go along with the snacks are these I picked up a pack of three bottles from B&M while I was there recently and they're all really basic but I just got one each for the kids they're empty and then as I said before we'll go to like security and then we can buy some water and we can make some squash for the kids or just water in Stan's case and that will do them fine and then they can use these bottles throughout the holiday as well which is quite useful and then 
everything else in here really is kind of like comfort or entertainment so for me i have a book i've got three books to take with me one of which is from our book club which is actually in my hand luggage because i've already started this one and want to finish this first but this is page tune if you could go anywhere so i'm taking that with me if i get a chance to read it, <laughs> it could be a miracle but that would be nice and then for stan i have this little super bear that he got recently when we went to the trafford center but he seems quite taken with it he's not really a teddy kind of baby because he loves the muslin and he like uses them as a comforter and cuddles them so i've actually got two in here just in case one gets like dirty or you know he loses it so they're just to keep him like comforted if he's tired and then the final things in terms of entertainment are just a little peppa pig happy holidays book that we have already and i thought he would quite like that and then i also picked these up from amazon and i think it was about seven pounds which i thought was brilliant value but it's a mini puzzle pack and there's four puzzles and it all comes in its own like casing as well and they're like animals and different things like that and i just thought this would be fab he loves a puzzle he really really loves a puzzle and i think that he will really get good use out of these i think they'd be great for like going out for meals with family as well if you've got a baby that you need to entertain and um yeah i'm hoping that they will do a good job for him we also have toys within the other two's backpacks as well that he can play with and he will be entertained just by us really and being with his siblings so i've not gone overboard for him because to be honest with you at the age he's at now he's more interested in playing with what they have anyway so next up i'm going to show you daisy's bag and this is the bag that she'll be using and it's a little monkey backpack and this used to actually be bill's and he is upgraded now so i'm using this one for her because it's a bit bigger than others that we have that are like hers and a bit more girly and it fits everything in that we need i really really like the addition of these side pockets just because you can put things in there to grab and go if you need to speaking of which in this first side pocket here she has her own version of the bottle that i showed for stan before and you know same rule applies with that but it's just in there because then she can grab it herself if she needs a drink then in the front pocket here at the moment she has her little sunglasses we always take hats and sunglasses with us when we are traveling as i've said before then in the main pocket here this is really really jam-packed i have asked daisy and bill to select a few toys that they want to take so daisy's got like a baby here a bit creepy baby really to be honest with you um her hat as i've mentioned is in here and then she has her dot mix stuff in the lammy that she wants to take and just a few little things in there like a pillow for her or like a bottle for a baby that she wants to play with while she's there so we don't take too many toys but it's nice to have them just on like you know the morning when you're having breakfast or in the evening before bed that kind of thing then next up we have the snacks again and the same things are in here for daisy as the were for stan and then she also has her headphones here bill also has a set of these that i need to add to his bag actually these are the jvc ones and i got them both from argos and they are just fab for like ipads that kind of thing and it just stops you from annoying other passengers really which is always a good thing to think about and the next few things that i've got in here are like little surprises to make the holiday a little bit more exciting for them just because i've always done this and maybe i've made a rub from my own back but it does add to the excitement so i've just got a few like little like line bag type toys so this is a toy story for one and this is a dinosaur mushrooms type thing and bill has the same and it's just to just make them a bit giddy my parents used to do that kind of thing for us they would treat us to something in the airport and i just want to make it a bit more exciting for them and then i also have to entertain daisy a couple of books so there's little miss stubborn and the unicorn and then a dora the explorer book as well and then finally the last few things in here are just for like crafts which are great for while we're away but also on the plane as well because they're easy to use i picked this up from amazon for both children but it's going in daisy's bag and it is a set of mini markers with some paper and it comes in a case so you can open and close it which i thought would be really really convenient for the plane i also think it'd be really handy for like meals out and visiting family in the future as well so i'm really glad that picked that up and then i also have to go along with that a plain drawing pad which again will last us ages that was a pound from B&M looks like that and then I also have a 1000 first word sticker book a because it was really inexpensive on Amazon b because Daisy loves 
Peppa Pig and see she is also going to be starting speech therapy at some point in the coming months and we really want to work on her words and I think it would be a really really good way to have fun with her while we're away and then when we come home and also just you know work on her pronunciation and stuff which is really cool so I'm really pleased that I picked that up and it was only a few quid as well so that is everything in her bag and now on to Bill's. So this is the bag that Bill's taken and it's his Pokemon bag that I got him recently from m and so if you've got a Pokemon fan that's where it's from and uh, he loves this bag and when I said right you're going to pick a bag and put your stuff in it this was obviously the option which is quite good because I'm always going to recognise him in the crowd aren't I? Now it has a front pocket at the front here and what is in here is actually his Nintendo DS and he has a couple of games as well which bless him he's put in a nappy bag just so they're like loose and not in their big cases so he's got a dinosaur fighting game he's got mario like super cart something like that and then also a pokemon game as well so that will keep him well entertained on the flight and then in this main pocket here bill has gone overboard i did tell him that he's carrying it and he's fine with that but uh there are quite a few additions now Again, he has his sunglasses, which I'm actually going to move to that front pocket so they don't get crushed by all the stuff that's in there. Um, but he's also got his hat as well, which is with his pile of clothes ready to go tomorrow when we fly. And he has the same bottle, and his is green one. And then he also has a few treats in here. So I got this free with one of his birthday presents, so I thought I'd put this in there as a surprise. It's just a little Jurassic World Lego kit. And then he's got the same little treats as well. And and then another thing that I picked up from Amazon for him was this game and it's 100 picks and it's a guessing game so you like reveal little clues about the animal and or whatever it is and you work out which one it is and I thought we could all play it together either on the plane or when we're away so that's a good purchase and again something like top trumps which you can keep in your stash of things to do with your kids when you're out and about or it's a rainy day. Speaking of top trumps he has also packed in here his dinosaur top trumps which we play a lot and then he has similar to daisy he's got the b m a4 drawing pad which was a pound and then he has a ultimate pokemon 1001 sticker book which i think he will like i think he'll really appreciate that bill also has the same bag of snacks that daisy and stan have as well along with his water bottle because as we've already discussed snacks are life we also have the ipad in his bag just because he'll be able to carry it a bit easier and he's got more room in his bag but this will be great for all three kids and you can use the headphones to like keep them occupied and not disturb anyone else so we've got it loaded up with disney life which we pay like we've got a paid subscription for that and you can download films and like programs that they like and they can watch that and there's a few games on here as well just to keep them occupied and this is battered now we've had this years and years but it's still going strong and I'm just I feel like tablets are a savior on planes I really really do and then the rest of the stuff in here is just just for you to see it's full of toys and random little boy stuff like a dinosaur on a lead and toy dinosaurs and that kind of thing with little toy pokemon but all three children will play with these while we're away so i'm quite fine with that and we've got a few extra toys in our main luggage as well but that is everything so hopefully it gave you a bit of inspiration and this video wasn't too long and yeah if you're going on holiday very soon i hope you have a lovely time wherever you're off to and yeah i hope you have a good journey with your kids as well but thank you so much for watching and i will hopefully see you next time bye